Now, I say, mm -hmm, okay, I need to think what it means mathematically. So I will stop the, this vertical topic here, and I will start a horizontal topic to look at it in a very zoom-in way. And that is the topic of complexity and computability. So a, s a small break. What I'm showing you here is just a plot where the horizontal axis is the number of data points that we have, as we said, the number of patients, let's say n, and the uh, vertical axis is time how much time each algorithm takes. Uh, it means that how many, it, it, it is proportionate, of course, to the number of, calculation, of calculations that an algorithm should do. And let's see, if we have, let's say, the heights of all patients, of n patients, and we want to see, to uh, get the average value of the average uh, uh, height of all patients. How many calculations do we need to do? If we have 100 patients, how many calculations do we need to do? That's easy, right? Yes, 100. You are genius. What's your name? Yarde. Okay. If we have 100 patients and we need to do the average, so we need to sum all the averages. So we need to do 100 operations. If we have n patients, we need to do n operations. Okay? So if we look at the red uh, curve, the red line, we see that if we have more patients, then the number of, uh, the, the time that it takes is, of course, linearly, it, it grows linearly. And if we have different algorithms, let's say algorithms that need to do three operations for each patient. Let's say calculate both the, the height, the weight, and the, the number of, uh, of the, the white blood cells, whatever. So it's three times slower. So it is the, the complexity here is 3n. And as you can see, it grows faster. So it becomes, it's a slower algorithm. If we have, if we need just to do, let's say, sampling and not take all patients in the example, but just 20% uh, of them, so the complexity here is 0.2n, right? And if, for example, we need to do first a, a, a separated operation that will take 100 uh, commands and then do the uh, average of all patients, it will be 100 plus n. So you see how we, if we have like different algorithms or different uh, tasks to do, how it influences the time that the algorithm takes, that the operation takes. But these are all are linear, right? What happens if we have something like we just saw? that has a power. So the intra-cluster distances calculation, we saw that it is n squared. Remember? Right. So this is how it plots, right? <coughs> so let's look at these two algorithms. The algorithms that the red one, that is n squared, and this is the curve, and another algorithm that is 10n, the purple one. Which one is uh, slower? That's well. Why? It uh, goes, uh, goes up very fast. I, 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 here you see that the purple one, the 10N, is slower. It takes 50 seconds, let's say. And this is faster. Till 10 patients. It, uh, so till 10 patients, this one is better. T and after that, that that's right. Hmm. <laughs> what can we say? Okay, what happens if we have more complex algorithms? So here you see n, n in the, to the power of 2, n to the power of 3. And I also added 0 0.1 n to the power of 3. That's the purple one. So let's take the red and the purple one. Which is better? 
which is slower, which is faster? It's hard to say, right? Because there's this uh, point, this critical point, that changes the speed. But it's very easy to see that if we take the horizontal axis and manipulate it, we will see a different picture. Here, for example, I'm taking it even it further. We have 10 times n to the power of 2. That's the blue one. This is n to the power of 3. And this is 100 n plus 10 times n to the power of 2 plus n to the number of 3. Which is the fastest one? As we can see here, the fastest one is this one, n to the power of 3. But if we change the scale, in the, if instead of just n equals 5, we will see n equals 20. So now we see that the competition changed. And now the red one becomes slower. So the red one, n to the time n to the power of three, is slower than ten times n to the power of two. And if we scale it, um, take it even further, the change of scale, and further, and further, we see actually that there is no difference between the red and the green. Right? They the actually the same. Power. What? The same power, uh, maximal power. The same maximal, the same maximal power. power. Right, you are right. So, although this one has one operation that takes 100 times n plus 10 times n squared, it doesn't matter. What matters is the biggest component, is the bottleneck, if you will. So we say that in reality, when we talk about medical data, which usually is very big, it doesn't really matter all the tiny elements of the algorithm. There is only one thing that matters, which is the biggest power, as you can see here. And to end, I made you a bouquet. Uh, so you see, it's like uh, we have the, the n squared and uh, n to the power of 3, but we also have a log, logarithmic uh, curve that looks like this. And uh, notice this, what? 2 to the power of n. This is the biggest power. So you see very rapidly, does it become very, very slow, very, very complex, many, many operations. 2 to the power of n. So this is a way, a, a very nice way to look at it. Now let's go back to the vertical topic. Let's go back to where we were.